Batteries for years now have only had a few breakthroughs and major developments taking place in the battery making process. For more than a decade, the human race has been stuck with lithium ion batteries. While researchers are hard at work to find a breakthrough battery technology, we're still a very long way from using them. Since the world is becoming very conscious about our environment and turning towards becoming eco-friendly, using recycled products, and intending to use renewable energy one day, a lot of people are already migrating to the idea of clean energy and therefore seek out products and product makers such as Tesla who are striving to create products that run on renewable energy. Tesla has unveiled its interest in making this difficult to produce next level tabless batteries that could improve an electric car's range and power. The battery is expected to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour, the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of battery packs in modern electric vehicles. If achievable, these battery cells could be groundbreaking, but the jury is still out. And the question on a lot of people's minds is, are Tesla's new 4680 batteries better than solid state batteries? Stay tuned to find out. Tesla cars are powered solely by the electrical charge stored in the batteries and are termed battery electric vehicles or BEVs. The reason for Tesla's existence as a company is simply that lithium ion batteries have the highest charge capacity of any practical battery formulation in history and are high enough to make EVs practical. The idea of using lithium ion rechargeable battery cells was first proposed by a British chemist in the early 1970s. Battery cells are deceptively simple devices consisting of three basic components, two electrodes, the negative anode, and the positive cathode, separated by a chemical soup called the electrolyte. Tesla has been using 18650 cells manufactured by Panasonic in Asia in the Model S and Model X cars since 2013. Every year in September, Tesla holds its annual Battery Day event, where they talk about the latest technological advancements in batteries. As part of Tesla's update call, held with the release of quarterly financial results on Monday, CEO Elon Musk delivered an update about the 4680 format cells. Tesla didn't hold back on Battery Day as they announced a new revolutionary tabless 4680 batteries, among other things. The new form factor eliminates the tab, increases energy density, and maintains similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, improving the power to weight ratio and streamlines the manufacturing at lower cost. The 4680 battery cell in a single unit is 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. The greater overall size allows for more electrical energy storage. Five times the energy storage compared to the 2170 battery that was used in the production of the Model 3 and Y. In the first quarter of 2021, Tesla announced that it had delivered 184,800 electric cars that rely on conventional lithium-ion battery technology, manufactured by the Japanese builder Panasonic. Tesla also announced its new 4680 battery, which will be manufactured in-house starting with a pilot China-based plant in 2022. The new batteries don't use cobalt, but instead employ a high nickel cathode. They also replace the graphite anode with silicon, the second most abundant element on Earth. Current batteries, including the Tesla's 2170, feature tabs, which are metal components at the core that are welded to the electrodes. Manufacturing these parts is difficult and expensive, and the parts can be a weak link in the battery since the current flow through the tabs create a hotspot that can cause electrodes to fail. Tesla's 4680 batteries have no tabs. According to Tesla estimates, the new design is 56% cheaper to produce and needs about half the real estate to generate the same power as a 74 kilowatt hour Model Y battery pack. The main advantage is that the laser patterned shingles offer a shorter path for electrodes to flow. Tesla says that this will be the first million mile battery and estimates that it will retain 90% of its life after 4,000 charge cycles. With all the different variations of batteries out there, Tesla opted to refine an existing platform that involves simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, and five times reduction in electrical parts. The new cells are designed without tabs and have shorter pathways for the electrons to travel. They are also simpler to build with fewer parts. What this means is that it offers five times the energy, six times more power, and a 16% increase in range with just this form factor change alone. Not only does Tesla claim this design will shorten the charging time to as little as 15 minutes, but the company also says it will allow for a faster electron flow when demanding power for better performance. The tabless architecture of the new 4680 cells also have a direct impact on improving manufacturability. Not only does it eliminate the need for a tab, 
but it also eliminates the need for the production lines to pause to add tabs. This new tabless cell gets rid of this bump in the road, enabling the manufacturing line and making it less prone to producing defects, as it hums along and seamlessly rolling up massive 4680 cells. The technology is still at least a year or two away from being a viable power source for production vehicles. Solid State Batteries The holy grail for those looking towards an electric-powered future in boating is purported to be the solid state battery. Car makers that traditionally do the heavy R&D lifting for marine propulsion technology, Toyota, Ford, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and General Motors are among those investing in and banking on its eventual success. In addition to eliminating volatile electrolyte liquids or gels, solid state batteries use different materials such as lithium metal that have about 10 times the capacity of graphite anodes and take up far less space than carbon and silicon anodes. The reason lithium metal isn't currently being used is that when combined with liquid electrolytes, it has a far greater tendency to form dendrites, which are stalagmite-looking structures that can grow from the anode and reach the cathode, causing a cell-killing short circuit. With a solid electrolyte, the risk of dendrites is greatly reduced. Solid-state batteries are now being used only for applications such as pacemakers because of the extremely high cost, but the benefits of a 15-minute charge time and capacity that could potentially propel a car up to 1,000 miles per charge are driving many car companies to invest heavily in this technology. The solid-state battery is being researched by a lot of automakers. For instance, Samsung and Hyundai are investing in Colorado-based solid power. QuantumScape is a U.S. company that attracted a $300 million investment from the Volkswagen Group, as well as an investment from Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. The company said it has created fire-resistant test batteries with a four-layer cell, and that the batteries continue to function after 1,100 cycles, retaining at least 80% capacity. The big differentiator for QuantumScape is that it uses a proprietary ceramic barrier that prevents dendrites from reaching the cathode. The difficulty was creating a ceramic barrier that isn't brittle and allows lithium ions to flow freely through it. While everyone is at a race trying to produce a long-lasting and highly powerful and efficient battery, Solid State is the first one to emerge out to battle lithium ion. Tesla's new 4680 battery is a significant step in the right direction as it's not only more prominent, but the internal structure is also different. The laser-patterned shingles offer a shorter path for electrons to flow, and even though you have a larger cell, you have a battery with more power internally and externally, which ultimately shortens the charge time. Tesla has improved the efficiency and capacity of its battery, reduced the cost of production, and the time taken for production. With its tabless structure, as noted earlier, a time-consuming step that involved the inserting of the tab itself inside the battery has been eliminated, which simply means more battery in less time. Do you think that the new Tesla 4680 battery would be the end of the solid state batteries? Let us know in the comment section below. Bye!